Sometimes it is annoying to stand in traffic on the way to work or home. It is possible that the problem will be solved soon thanks to Belnexus. This is one of the variants of the aircap. Thanks to which a nervous long trip during rush hour will turn into a fascinating and most importantly, not time-consuming flight. A full-scale version called Belnexus was first presented to the general public at CES 2019 exhibition in Las Vegas. Its developers are participating in Uber's program to create an urban air taxi. So the current version is adapted for transportation in urban areas. In particular, it is able to take off and land vertically, as well as to form a standard helicopter pad. It is known that the capacity of one of the options is one pilot and four passengers. The company's website describes a hybrid and an all-electric model. The range of the Bell Nexus is about 240 kilometers, and its speed is about 241 kilometers per hour. In addition to the passenger transportation market, the authors aim to conquer logistics companies and the military industry. Quickly changing the functional purpose of a drone from cargo to passenger, nothing could be easier. We present to your attention the Sigma-6 electric vertical takeoff aircraft. The innovative ASX glider has two interchangeable modules, one cargo module and one passenger module. The drone is equipped with a functional robot skateboard for quick capsule replacement. When the Sigma-6 lands, the capsules will detach from the glider and roll on a small autonomous chassis electric skateboard with full drive. The same robotic skateboards can lift and move the entire airplane if necessary. And it's not just a project. The company has already tested this ground logistics system and was quite pleased with the results. Another feature of the Sigma-6 is the ability to quickly replace the batteries, which are built into the same pods. If your drone's battery is dead, simply replace the capsule and keep flying. One battery is enough for 240 kilometers of flight. The class of ultralight personal aircraft appeared in the world not so long ago. However, it can already boast very noteworthy representatives. Icon A5 is the brainchild of the American company Icon Aircraft, which has been in serial production since 2014. It is a seaplane, which means it takes off and lands on the water surface. The fuselage is made of carbon fiber. The aircraft is powered by a Rotax 912 IS motor with 100 horsepower. The aircraft is 7 meters long and has a wingspan of 10.6 meters. The payload is low, 200 kilograms, but it can hardly be called a drawback considering that the Icon A5 is designed for entertainment and leisure. Panoramic appearance, removable side windows, and intuitive controls are a kind of compensation. The maximum speed of the vehicle is 175 kilometers per hour. What about the innovative high-speed electric seaplane, Seaglider? The machine has been developed and tested and has already been put into production by the American company Regent. This new electric plane takes off and lands on water, just like a seaplane, and it flies with a speed of 290 km per hour above the water surface. The main feature of Sea Glider is the use of the ground effect, which means flying at a low altitude over the sea in order to increase the lifting force from the air cushion between the wings and the water. The new vehicles will be able to serve routes of up to 290 km, and after the development of new batteries, the range will expand to 800 km. Bellwether Industries recently built and tested one of the most futuristic prototypes of the Volar vertical takeoff and landing electric vehicle. Test flights of the flying two-seat prototype took place in Dubai. The device made several flights at a height of 4 meters at a speed of 40 km per hour in unmanned mode. Those who have seen this car say that the car looks so futuristic that it seemed to them that they had been in the future. The developers claim that the car will fly at speeds of 220 km per hour at an altitude of up to 900 meters and have a payload of about 600 kilograms. It is assumed that in the future, the number of seats will increase to four. One battery charge will be enough for 90 minutes of flight. So it's best to start the diet now to be ready to fly in 2028, when Bellwether says it wants to bring this thing to market for about the price of a private jet. Some would say that the reality in which it is as easy to buy and use airplanes as cars is not feasible. However, the creators of this transport are striving precisely for this reality. Vision Jet G2 Plus is a novelty, which the American company Cirrus Aircraft introduced it quite recently. The brand is engaged in the production of such light aircraft for not the first year, so this model is an updated version of the G2, which is produced since 2019. The machine received an updated engine, which has increased performance by 20% during takeoff. The device has a wingspan of 11.8 meters. 
The aircraft can carry up to seven passengers and travel at a cruise speed of 564 kilometers per hour. This experimental helicopter pleased everyone with its records, but it never went into production. It was the Eurocopter X3 that broke the world record for horizontal flight speed in 2013, reaching a velocity of 472 km per hour. In June 2014, it was placed in the French Air Museum in the village of saint victor Such a speed record was achieved during a flight in the south of France. One of the testers of this helicopter noted that the Eurocopter X3 feels as easy to pilot as a usual helicopter. Two wings with pulling propellers and absence of tail rotor immediately catch the eye. It is interesting that with its impressive speed characteristics, high stability and efficiency at low altitudes, as well as a practical ceiling of 4 kilometers, only one specimen was built. If you combine the advantages of a private aircraft and helicopter, adding to the resulting technique, stylish design and compliance with all fashion trends related to the environment, you can get a very interesting specimen. The final result will come out as Starling and is currently in a prototype stage. So far, tests are being carried out on various small-scale models, but in the final version of the British team, which is now working on a prototype promises the device length of about 13 meters in a range of 1,000 kilometers. It will be able to carry five passengers. A special landing gear combined with a vertical takeoff and landing system will allow it to operate even outside specially equipped areas. In addition, the hybrid engine is much more environmentally friendly than many competitors. A Tiltroder is an aircraft capable of taking off and landing vertically like a helicopter. The U.S. Army has been using such vehicles for such a long time, and now a revolution is coming in commercial aviation. The first commercial aircraft of this type in the world is the AW609, which recently made its first flight. The Tiltroder is designed to take into account the advantages of both helicopters and fixed-wing aircraft, and the transition from one mode to the other takes no more than 40 seconds. The AW609 uses a composite fuselage and wings, an advanced class cockpit, and a full set of modern avionics with digital control. The aircraft is propelled by three-bladed propellers with a diameter of 8 meters. Carrying capacity of the AW609 is 8 tons. The Tiltroder is designed to carry 9 to 12 passengers at speeds up to 510 km per hour, for distances up to 1,585 km. Specialists from an Italian company are presenting their development as the new era of regional aerial mobility. They have invented a special AN platform. At the moment, their characteristics allow to seat up to six people, flying range up to 800 kilometers, cruising speed up to 300 kilometers per hour. The power plant is hybrid, with a great emphasis on environmental friendliness. This aircraft is suitable for both personal and commercial use. Controls are manual, remote, and automatic. And thanks to the flexibility of production, the team is willing to consider desires not only for finishes, but also for various electronic systems. The Anon 2 is still at the prototype stage, but testing is scheduled for this year. Write in the comments which aircraft impressed you the most. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Karo Show channel. Also watch our previous videos. Goodbye.